the goal of the product alternative strategy is to get mentioned on blog posts listing alternatives to your competitors' offerings. As an example, to get exposure for Respana, we will be reaching out to sites that have listed alternatives for another product in our industry, Ahrefs. So let's see how Respana can help you find these opportunities. In the first two fields, enter the name of your product or company, as well as the URL for your website. Here, we will use Respana and Respana.com. Now, you'll do the same, but for the competitor in the next two fields. I'll put here Ahrefs and Ahrefs.com. In the fifth field, mention some general keywords that best describe your competitor's products or services. You can use Respondent's AI keyword suggestion tool to come up with a list of related keywords for your content. In this example, I can ask you to develop a list of general and broad related terms to SEO. These will be used to find relevant pages that mention your competitor as well as your target keywords. Next, you're going to describe what sets your product apart from the competition in one to two sentences and why they should mention you alongside them. For example, we are going to say that, contrary to Ahrefs, Respana automates the entire partner recruitment process in minutes. It's the highest rated outreach tool on G2. This and the next field will be pulled directly into your email sequence. In the final field, describe what incentives you can offer in return for referencing your product. In our example, we'll be offering a free trial of Respana, inviting them to join our affiliate network and, of course, providing all the assets needed to update the article. Then you'll hit use this template to get into the campaign editor. The email sequence is already set up for you, but let's spend a little extra time on it. So we're going to check on spam words, include an unsubscribe link, and change the follow-up to about five days. Let's also add an AI icebreaker variable. It will automatically generate unique personalizations for each of the opportunities in your campaign and increase your reply rates. The next step button leads you to the review of your automation with all the search operators already preset for you. You can also hover over the queries and click the preview button to see the results before running the search. Click on continue and narrow down the results with SEO filters. Click continue again and you'll see that the contact search is already set up for you. Respondent will automatically seek out the content and SEO managers alongside of other relevant decision makers of websites that you want to get links from. The next setting relates to AI personalization. Here, you can provide additional instructions and prompts for your AI variables. We, for example, like to keep the reading level at around a, you guessed it, a fifth grade level and stick to short sentences with minimal punctuation. Let's also enable the search to become recurring, so every couple of weeks or so. This will automatically rerun the search, topping off your campaign with fresh opportunities on autopilot. Speaking of autopilot, once you click on run automation, results will start popping up on your screen in real time, but you don't need to wait for the entire search to be completed. Respondent will send you an email when it's done. Once ready, you can move to the final step, review and launch. Here, you can review your AI variables and of course, make any manual edits. In addition to email addresses, Respondent also finds the LinkedIn profiles of your prospects. We recommend also sending them a connection request on LinkedIn just to create another touch point and increase the chances of getting a reply, whether it be in your email or through LinkedIn. Once the pre-launch checks are complete and the campaign is running, all that's left for you to do is look out for responses. And that's it. I'll see you now in the next module.